here's my thing. Today, I am so sick and tired of all the terrible movies coming out. I'd like to go on a killing massacre and kill everyone, wouldn't you? But hey, put away your copy of Catcher in the Rye and the key to your father's gun cabinet because there are a bunch of awesome kick-ass massacre movies that you can vicariously live through and live out your homicidal tendencies with. And let's face it, you have to really up the ante these days to match some of the actual violence and real killing sprees out there. Luckily, there are a few films that live up to these real-life standards. The first of which is the 1978 grindhouse classic Duke Mitchell's Massacre Mafia style, a.k.a. The Executioner. Now, I had the pleasure of seeing a double feature screening of Massacre Mafia style and its long-lost follow-up Gone with the Pope. Massacre Mafia style, where to begin? With the trailer, which you can watch right here. Boop. This movie is clearly a forerunner to Pulp Fiction, wherein a mob hitman goes to Hollywood to kill to a catchy tune for no apparent reason. It kinda comes out of nowhere at you. During his senseless killing spree, he wrecks up quite a body count, one of the best massacre sequences in the film. Along with his hilarious racist comments, the film has a great gritty 70s aesthetic that will have you cheering for his creative kills and wanting to see more, which now you can thanks to some heavy hitting grindhouse lovers. What's crazy about Gone with the Pope might not only be what's on the screen, but how it came to be released. This flick was shot in 19 1975 and it wasn't released until this year, the negatives and reels having been found in Mitchell's garage and later completed by the guy who was nominated for an Oscar for editing The Hurt Locker. Pope sees Mitchell's mobster hitman getting out of prison doing one final job so he'll have enough money to buy a boat and sail off into the, in the sunset with his buddies to finally be free from judges. Cops! All the law! I've got something for you! Take this! and stick it up in your mother's twat! This would be the plot for any Grindhouse movie in and of itself, but no, not for Mitchell. Once they get the boat, they make it all the way to Rome, and over coffee, he randomly decides to kidnap the Pope. Like, hey guys, let's, uh, you know, let's finish this cup of joe and uh, we'll go kidnap the Pope, you know? And he's gonna demand 50 cents. First he says a dollar, and then he brings it back. It's the 70s. Every people didn't have a dollar. He's like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna kidnap the Pope, we're gonna get 50 cents from every Catholic in the world. Apparently in the 70s, though, I guess they didn't have the Pope Mobile yet, or security guards for that matter. Well, Gone with the Pope doesn't have as much eye-popping kills as Massacre and Mafia style. It is a much better put-together movie and very funny. But we're interested in death and carnage. Now, if you want to get a real bang for your Massacre buck, then check out Rampage, written and directed by the infamous U Bull, which is now on Instant Play on Netflix, by the way. You should check it out. Now, I want to get one thing straight up front. There are tons of awesome, action-packed gun battles out there, but the criteria for a good Massacre film is that they are murdering innocent civilians and those who can't fight back. Rampage delivers on this. Although the film started out pretty weak, you know, it is worth it for the amount of oppressive kills that Bull is able to rack up. We follow the story of Bill, who's like a 20-something, living with his parents, and then one day they sit him down, they're like, hey, look, we're going to help you get your, your own apartment, and then he listens to, like, some talk radio, and then, like, the next thing you know, he's killing everybody in his entire town, so... Now, the thing about any good massacre movie is that the guy doing all the po going postal shouldn't have any clear-cut motives to go on his killing spree. I mean, if you, want a, if you want a motive, sure, there's, like, revenge, you know, like, kill Bill, I spit on your grave, throw Mama from the train, but my favorite massacre movies have weak motives for the killing. It's sort of like watching porn. Why do you need to see the pizza delivery guy? Let's get to the meat of it. Bull tries to make it, like, it's an updated version of Falling Down with a lot of time spent showing all the supposed influences as to why this guy is going to snap and take out a whole town, but we really don't have that much sympathy for the main character, Bill. It's really just a great excuse to see the sweet massacre scene, which is the only reason to check this flick out. I've got a special bonus scene for you guys, a bonus massacre. This is from Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, and you can watch that clip right here. Boop! Carpet Day! Huh? No! That's okay. Pretty sweet, huh? Alright, my only problem with that, though, is that he kind of pussied out then. Why didn't he kill the girl? You know, like a good massacre, you don't leave any stone unturned. Alright, so tell me in the comments what your favorite massacre scenes are of all time.